gets better. Say that it gets better. Oh, P.S. I'm oh, P.S. I'm gay. Hello, everyone in the podcast universe. This is Gayish, the podcast that's with you wherever you go, whether you want us to be or not. <laughs> just, just like a STI. <laughs> You gotta see a clinic about us. <laughs> I'm Mike Johnson. I'm Kyle Getz. And we're here to bridge the gap between sexuality and actuality. And today... Today we're going to be teaching you some things. We're going to talk about taxonomy. First. But first. <laughs> oh, I was going to say first is telling you what taxonomy means. Because oh. apparently... We'll, do, we'll save it. We'll save it. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. We'll do your taxes later. Okay. Um, but first, do you have some news? But first, I have some news. Are so, you going to say sad things oh about God, sad things? Okay, I seriously... <laughs> Shit is so fucked. Fuckers are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Your They're bullshit is bullshit. It. They're fucking it around, bullshitting around. Oh, God. Okay, so first of all, you may or may not have heard this week that the Trump administration is contemplating a memo, considering implementing a memo. Well, they're not no, They're not contemplating a memo. They, they memoed. When, uh, it's not policy yet. Right, right, right. So but leaked. they sent a memo. There was a memo. Right, it's leaked. Right, right. Any, basically, basically, that trans people don't exist. That yeah. they're not a thing. Yeah. Uh, quote, sex means a person's status as male or female based on immutable biological traits identifiable by or before birth. Um, it went on to say, quote, the sex listed on a person's birth certificate as originally issued shall constitute definitive proof of a person's sex unless rebutted by reliable genetic evidence. First of all. What's your, I had a first of all, but I want to hear your first of all. So it says based on immutable biological traits. Your ding dong or your hoo ha, that's mutable. <laughs> like, it sometimes it shuts up. It is so mutable. <laughs> it's like listening to a Barbara Walters interview. It's so mutable. <laughs> Slash can be changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's very true. And in I'm fact, drink my beer while, you while say I do things. my thing. <laughs> that's very true. I didn't even think about that because, like, and not only can it, it has been for many people lots of based times. on lots of meetings with their doctor and psychiatrist or psychologist or sociologist or whoever they meet with to get the approval. Yeah. Um, my first of all was like intersex people are born like so <laughs> at just a really basic level of you look at your genitals and you are one of two genders. It's just scientifically not true. It's not. It's not. It's yeah. that's not the case. And if you want them to have a, a ding dong or a hoo ha, some people have a mixture and you can't, I don't, you can't pretend, or I guess you can pretend like they don't exist because that's what they're doing. But like, yep. it's just not true. Yep. So. And having just an XX or an XY for your sex chromosomes isn't normal. It's just usual. It's yes. It is the, <laughs> the most common thing that happens, but there literally is people that are not male or female that exist. And so. It's just yeah. the I like I hate Republicans. Great. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> it's like the co-opting science and pretending like Oh my god, like climate change or evolution or fucking trans people. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean you get to have an opinion. And so yeah, yeah. Your opinion does not matter to science. Your bullshit <laughs> is bullshit. <laughs> and also the fact that people are even saying based on science or using lingo that sounds like they have science on their side when they don't, it should be like illegal to lie that publicly. It should like, we have stricter laws around marketing, you know, what you're allowed to put on the box of a new, you know, Triscuit yeah. than we do around what politicians can say. Yeah. They invented the phrase intelligent design because they couldn't just say God did it yeah. <laughs> as their official policy. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if I could use like at work. Hey, Kyle, why were you not on that conference call? And just be like, God did it. <laughs> That's my, my new excuse for everything. My boyfriend's like, why did you like shit in the middle of the floor? And I'll be like, God, God, man. <laughs> Sorry, dude. He works in weird, shitty ways. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ is always the problem. Um, <laughs> well, we should, we should say, Trans people do exist, Inter and that includes intersex, transgender people, uh, non-binary people. You can't change that. You can say what you want, but you can't change that fact. And to those people, like, it really sucks right now um, to have people just trying to say you don't exist. Yeah. And 
Um, it, I, I really feel for those people and I can't understand the idea of someone just pretending like men don't exist. Like no one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it like, we can't even comprehend what that feels like. And I, you, you exist and we love you. So I hope you're doing what you need to take care of yourself because now's a rough time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have, I have a suggestion for how to take care of yourself and it is to, uh, take a picture of your genitals <laughs> and be like, look, <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Or do it if you want to. But what, what were you going to say? I was going to say kill a senator, but <laughs> <laughs> this is Gayish's new program we're implementing. It's called kill a senator, get a senator. <laughs> it's it's a weird law that we have where if you kill a senator, you legally become the next senator. <laughs> yep. It's just how it works. <laughs> it's just a big old Hunger Games for control of Congress. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, next story. Yeah. Ready? Okay. A whole bunch of bars in Tennessee, gay bars in Tennessee have re received flyers in the mail. The return address is MAGA, M-A-G-A. Okay. Um, the fact that they got something in the mail, like bars have mail boxes? Sure. I guess so. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, and inside these envelopes were flyers that are a picture of, uh, it just says LGBT. Heard of it. Yeah, and but redefines them as liberty, guns, beer, and Trump. Oh, I thought it was going to be tits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean they put Trump's face on it, so it's same, same, same. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, as in like LGBT. No, that's not what LGBT really is. Is these awesome redneck asshole things? I just, I just. First of all, I kind of think they're clever. For doing that. <laughs> well, should we mail like MAGA back to them? Yeah. What would it stand for? I mean, the easy one. We have to be more creative. Make America gay again. But like, there's yeah. a porn where that they had that in the background. So that's an easy. That's a gimme. Just yeah. like it was for that guy in that porn. Um. What? Uh. My ass grows astronomically. <laughs> My ass gets anal. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that's a little bit better. A little more on brand. Yeah. Um. Many apologies great america <laughs> I don't know. um morons always get ass kickings morons always get ass kickings i think that's the winner okay yeah for or sure ass lickings oh god <laughs> that's pretty bold like they're getting crazier i really feel like if i could go back in time to the ancient era of 2016 <laughs> Which feels like a fucking long time ago now. Yeah. I think that the things that were just, oh my God, I can't fucking believe that that's happening, would yeah. be pretty, like, middle of the road to tame yeah. by today's scale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I making that up? No, 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 no. Like, if in three years ago, if we had seen a president walking into Air Force One with toilet paper on his shoes, we would have flipped our shit. That would have been the weeks long story. That was like, everyone was like, oh, ha ha, like, we get to laugh. <laughs> like, that's just yeah. funny. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Obama, Bush, whoever it was that did that Little was just fact, funny. It wasn't toilet paper. What was it? It was the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> he had just wiped his ass with yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Ready to move on? Yeah. Okay. Fuckers are everywhere. You mean move on to a different country or yeah. what? God, Canada. Canada. Now that we can smoke weed there, <laughs> I want to be in Yeah, here. that's all we were waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, God, I've been listening to Big Fatty. Mm -hmm. he, he calls Canada Northern Mexico. And it, makes, <laughs> <laughs> it makes me happy every single time. <laughs> Why not Mexico, Southern Canada? I, I mean... Potato, potato, big fatty though. that was a question to big fatty <laughs> answer us okay last story uh so your hometown of houston texas Ooh, have you heard about mine. this yep oh what oh, you've yeah. heard of houston i've heard of houston <laughs> i didn't yes <laughs> the houston public library announced that um next week they were going to have a series of readings for children by drag queens oh wait i've heard of that as a thing but i didn't know it was happening in houston they're That's... happening in multiple cities it's sort of a, a a movement to have drag queens dress up fabulously and then read books to children and the houston public library system decided that they wanted to do that That's awesome. also except don't fuck with texas apparently because the people are pissed mm. um and a guy, uh, what is his name? He doesn't deserve a name, but um, <laughs> uh, his name is Chris Sevier. 
Um, he's an anti-LGBT campaigner who filed a lawsuit saying that... Go- oh, I'm excited to hear the logic that's going to... Yep. Drag queen storytime events violate his U.S. constitutional religious freedom protections. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're his tax dollars and they're going to these things that are against his religion. I mean... If that's the case, I have many opinions about where my tax dollars are going that I would like control of. Absolutely. My my religion is against war. So yeah. fucking get with it, First Amendment. Yeah. Which the Bible is not. I, I feel like it's pretty heavy in the like, let's kind of kill everyone arena. Yeah. War, slavery. Famine. F- fucking your sister. All kinds of shit. Yeah. I, I made that last one up, I think. Who knows? Who knows? Tell okay. us, Bible scholars. Um, or don't, because we don't care that much. This group defined as, or sorry, they self-describe as, quote, Christ followers who are against the LGBT doctrine, <laughs> are demanding equal treatment, and are demanding a man-woman marriage storytelling hour. <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> like, a man and a woman conjugate their marriage and then read to children? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, this same dude, Chris Sevier, who's like running this thing, filed a lawsuit against Lafayette Library in Louisiana over a similar drag queen story time event. He's filed multiple state, uh, most he's filed lawsuits in multiple states seeking the right to marry inanimate objects such as his laptop. Oh, um, and he was arrested on charges of stalking country music star John Rich in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> is that related to any of this, no, or just I think a thing you know about this him? This is pink news, so they threw it in there just to be snarky, I'm sure. Like, uh, uh, and he did this pretty gay thing by he... stalking this <laughs> country western star. Uh. Um, yeah. Anyway, it just, just, yeah, it's so hard for white Christians in this country, Kyle. They have to look at drag queens and just treat them like <laughs> normal human beings. Oh, it's God. rough. Treating people nicely is <laughs> violates their Christian beliefs somehow. Let, yeah, let I mean, letting people go to the library is. I mean, they don't like books. Oh, that's true. Combine that with drag queens that they also don't like. Like their heads are exploding, <laughs> and not in a good way. Right, <laughs> their upper heads. Upper. <laughs> um, and then because that was a whole big old ball of shit sandwich and suck, I was just going to point out that uh, Robin's new album drops Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? Nice. Yeah. Um, although I wasn't like her uh, single... Shut up, Kyle. We're happy. Yo, we're happy. This is the happy Love part. It. Love it. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> Fan. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. Robin's new album drops on Friday, and apparently Chris Pine's new movie has full frontal nudity. Of himself? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'd be like, of Ron Jeremy, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, okay. What's his new movie? I don't know. Is it, about, is it the one about the man on the moon? I didn't get past the his penis part. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, he was on the Graham Norton show and uh, was talking about his movie Outlaw King. And apparently heard of his dick is all in it. He, he plays Scottish leader Robert the Bruce. So it's, um, I guess it's a historical thing. That's that's partially what Braveheart was about also is that whole thing. The Scottish independence or whatever, and then they lost another part of England. Everything that I said is wrong, and people are going to write in. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I don't think like England and Scotland have any strong opinions about each other, so that I don't think they'll notice. Something that I found out through this article that I think is fantastic uh-huh. is that apparently pine is a, a vulgar term for penis in French. Oh, so his name is Chris Dick in French. Oh, Chris Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's all. That's the news. Okay. I have a couple other than happy things to help out. Yay, happy. I I was looking through. I have like a little note, virtual note thing. You're like, you're fingering the air. I don't right know now. why. Because <laughs> I don't, what is like notes, I guess, on my phone, iPhone. It's like a reverse jazz hand you're just doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, On my phone, there's like a bunch of notes that I write about, like things I want to talk about. Yeah. I have three quotes that... I am mostly just to clear out my, some of my notes, things that I've not said yet. Okay. First one, new British baking show, the like season five, where yeah. they get rid of, uh, they have Prue, the new, the new Mary Berry. Yeah. And then the new lesbians. Yep. One of whom's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New lesbians. All right. Um, so Steven, the hot gay guy. Yeah. God, he's hot. I know. Let's all just think about Steven together. 
I Facebook stalked him. I know you got real <laughs> creepy on him. Almost as bad as uh, that dude that stalked that country guy. Yeah, I'm going to get arrested and then apparently I'm going to go fight drag queens at libraries. <laughs> That's the progression I'm, of things. You can't stop it. It is an immutable trait of nature. <laughs> um, I once got really high and was watching um, like some cake making competition. Weird. This was like 10 years ago because, you know, those were really big like 10 years ago. <laughs> and I saw this guy that I was like was gay and really cute. And in my high self, I started stalking him with the plan of getting his phone number to call him. Like in my head, that made a whole lot of sense of like, yeah, I just need to find his phone number and I'll call him and maybe we'll start dating. Yeah. That was like, a that wasn't, <laughs> I sometimes. So you, you've gotten less crazy, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> Great. Oh, speaking of getting less crazy. Yep. So my train of thought was, I'm now dating someone, so I'm not stalking your anyone. Your boyfriend, Jack, who is your boyfriend. Yeah, he says hi. Hi, Jack. Anyway. We should do a reality show that is about like experts making salad and we'll call it say yes to the dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Great. Uh, uh, mark that. Someone mark that time. No one's there. Okay. Um, okay. So that <laughs> was all the lead up to one quote. No. <laughs> okay. Season five, episode eight, Stephen is preparing some of the ingredients, some of the toppings that are going to go on his cake or bread. I forget. Sure. Yeah. Um, so he's like, has them in a frying pan and he tells the camera crew, he says, oh, you need to back up. Um, so he has like these peanuts or something in this pan and he goes back up. You don't want a hot nut in your face, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. And I rewinded it and watched it several times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. An Another quote is from you. Oh. oh. Um, when we were in New Orleans, you said, quote, I want to suck the butthole out of him. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. It was about one of the go-go boys. I, I did say that. Yeah. 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 We're, um, I have been in contact with one of those go-go boys who Still? might be on the show. <laughs> he was the, like, bro guy, right? Yeah. Like, talking to you about sports or something? Except that I found out that, like, every, like third thing that he said to me was the truth oh <laughs> he was like well that's a better track record than trump yeah that's true <laughs> great um he can't be on the show though oh i don't want to see his dick <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i'm just curious mm. um little mushroom um last thing was it was a while ago we were at your birthday oh wow and lord Wait, that's almost a year ago yeah okay yeah based on thinking the calendar dates. yeah yeah um, we were out at a gay bar and a Lord song came on and all the faggots started singing. And then this guy that was, that we were like standing out on the patio with, with said, I'm down with anal, but I hate this music. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that. Cause that's actually a very good reflection of the show of like, yeah, I fuck, but that doesn't mean I like Lord. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So I gave him our business card. I yeah. didn't do that. Oh. Yeah, why don't you give out our business cards? I just, I'm really bad at one on one communication, which is why I talk to you <laughs> one on one <laughs> and then post it for everyone. Yeah, you talk to me, you talk to Jack, and you talk to the endless void of expanse that is the alleged podcast audience. <laughs> alleged audience. <laughs> I talk to Reynolds sometimes. Oh, yeah. Okay, are we ready to talk about gay taxonomy? Yeah, okay, what? Okay. Taxonomy, that's when yeah. you kill an animal and dry it out and put it on your wall. No, 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 no. It's when you have a fetish for doing people's taxes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, so apparently we ran this by a really wide focus audience of two people. Yeah. And people didn't know what taxonomy was. So first, taxonomy is the categorization of I just categorization Things. of anything. And I mean, I learned about it in my texas science class anyway oxymoron right there where like i usually think about this like the uh categorization of animal species into yeah kingdom phylum class sort of family genus species when you say the genus and species of an animal it's latin you're using linnaean taxonomy oh yeah you told me a bunch of things that i didn't care too much about of course <laughs> so you were talking to me in yeah, which our time? normal way <laughs> <laughs> um 
Yeah, uh, Carl and A, the French dude, he invented taxonomy to study evolution and study biology. And then uh, he insisted that he be called Carolus Linnaeus because <laughs> he's just, he was already douchey because he was French, but then like he had to take it to the next level. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, when you say Canis Lupus instead of wolf or whatever, then... When that's... you say Canis... <laughs> Well, when I say that, you don't know what I'm into. That's true. Maybe wolf is one of the animals that we'll talk about later. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, we've gotten lots of questions over time about like, hey, what the fuck is an otter? And what is yeah. a bear? And what is a twink? And what is a whatever? So this is your uh, this is your lesson, everybody. Yep. Sit down, grab a piece of chalk. Oh, no. We'll grab a piece of chalk. You get your uncomfortable desk and... There's going to be a quiz, There's so don't be a fuck it up. Pop quiz that we're not going to tell you about till later. Yep. Um, yeah, this I think is like the most requested topic of late. So here you go, fuckers. Um, yep. You we're going to do a lot of definitions. Yes. I yes. think we might need some help to kickstart us. Uh, more help than we could know. <laughs> yes. I... Yes. Uh, let's call your mom. Okay. Let's call my mom. <laughs> It strikes fear into my heart every time we say that. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mom. Hey there. Hi. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, it said unknown caller. I know you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's lies. It is? Yeah, no, we're good. It's us. We're here. It is us. Confirmed. Uh, how's your day been? Uh, well, it's Fucktoberfest, <laughs> I think. What does that mean? <laughs> that just means it's October and people are festive. Uh, I love my new job. What's I your new job? Um, I work for a photography, a professional photography place. Mom, are you doing and... porn? Is this porn? <laughs> no, it's not bourgeois. It's nothing or b boutique. What's that called when they take suggestively nightwear? Cabaret? Boudoir? What is it? Oh, boudoir. No. no, there's none of that. It's all family portraits. and. So that. who do you sell the dildos to? <laughs> well... <laughs> You know, you got to hold your mouth right every time. <laughs> um, okay. So um, I'm no longer in that in that biz. You're out, out of the dildo game. Yeah, I chipped too many teeth. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are going to, as usual, ask you to define. We have a few words for you to define. Because no, I got a few words for you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> little tit for tat here. Um, this episode, we are going through the different categories of gay men, like all the different subcultures. Are we back to the hanky thing? Because I'm over that. <laughs> no, no, this is not the hanky. This is like a bear as a type of gay guy. We're going to ask otter. you, oh, you know, since you, you mentioned know. it, do you know yeah. what an otter is? Well, yeah, what's an otter? Oh, we are. This is live. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So otter, otters are those little. They lay on their backs and eat stuff. Is that what that <laughs> is? Thing? Are you talking about the animal or the gay men? <laughs> yes. Yes. Have some. It's like the the bottom only lays on his back and eats crackers. <laughs> there we go. Eats crackers or like eats white details. dudes. That's Asses? right. But, but, Was I right? An otter is a like a thin or athletic build guy with a lot of hair. So it's like take a bear but make him like skinny, skinnier. Okay, what about the butt teeth? You guys don't like that much, do you? <laughs> it depends on how you use them. Oh, oh, wait, that's a beaver. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> we don't like those either. <laughs> yeah, no, no beavers or clams on this podcast. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes maybe um, hardwood floors. Uh -huh. No carpet. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, uh, hardwood floors, no carpet. <laughs> what else you got? Okay. Yeah. Um, the next word we have is, Mike. Uh, what is a twonk? A twonk? Yep. It's like a twat, only I think it's your butt, right? A twonk? Like you junk in the twonk? Twonk in a... It's Elmer Fudd's answer to a booty. 
<laughs> I taught a taught twunk. I, I like your twunk. Uh, uh, uh. Oddly, He's very en- very quiet. <laughs> I'm twucking a twunk. Um, twunk, no. Twunk. Oddly enough, we don't have a word for what you just described. <laughs> oh dang! A twunk. Okay, so a twink is a skinny, hairless guy. Young boy. Um, yeah, right. younger. And but a, a twunk is like the just slightly more muscular version of that. It's not like large boned. Like chubbies, a big bones or... twink. No, it's yeah. just like you have some muscle, but they're still like skinny. So they have like muscle, but it's like skinny muscle. This website that I went to and got all these definitions off of has example celebrities. Their example for twink is Justin Bieber, and the example for twunk is the muscular version of Justin Bieber. <laughs> I would say twink oh, would be like early dinner. Justin Bieber. Twunk is later Justin Bieber. Yeah. Oh well, I got a I got a twump. For president, <laughs> not the not same. A, he's a twat. <laughs> okay. Uh, next is peacock. Sorry. What is a peacock? A peacock. Yep. Oh my lord! It's like in in real life. It's like it, it looks like a parrot had sex with a uh, what are those guys called? Steam trunk guys. What are those guys? I honestly Pop- don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I would say they're just like have like all kinds of feathery like here I am here I am. Okay. Uh, we we actually um, we made that one up. <laughs> so was... Do they scream like a baby when <laughs> stuff happens? Because that's what a peacock sounds. What? We should put a sound effect in there right, effect Wait. in there right now. What I'm saying. Yeah. Can you help so us? Like, what... <laughs> huh? That's what sound they make. Peacocks. Oh, and... it's horrible. You'd swear there's like babies getting stabbed all over town, <laughs> and they're really mean. Wait, peacocks are. What's the noise? Sorry, I missed it. Oh yeah, no, I can't do it again. I, I gotta, I have to gargle when we hang up after that one. <laughs> you guys know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay, that was the only fake one. This is the last one. It is real. Okay. Last but not least okay. is bull. Balls? What? <laughs> bull. B u l l. Bull. bull? Okay. Well, that's pretty obvious. I like big balls in a can of wine, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So, hey, can you see that stuff through their pants, maybe? Oh. <laughs> They're bullish on America. America? <laughs> bullish on America, meaning erect for America? <laughs> yeah. They yeah, stand for America. Oh, no. Bulls. They breed a lot, probably. <laughs> as, as realness. <laughs> Only that's... It's not going to happen, right? There's no offspring of... Fortunately, gays can't My make vagina's yet. fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Oh. <laughs> it's still okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, oh, b- bulls, though. What is bull actually, Mike? Oh, a, a bull is a super built, maybe hairy, maybe not, uh, dude. The example celebrity is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, yeah. Um, there is a name for what you're talking about, though, where you can see the bulge in their pants. VPL. Yeah. Visible penis line. VPL. Oh, is that like BGK? Because <laughs> it's a killer. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's kind of okay, Ness. I would probably, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've just given up on men. Tatum doesn't call me. and. Tatum. Bradley Cooper is busy with Gaga now. That's and true. I'm I'm just alone. Pretty sure they're both gay, Mom. Uh, they are. Chante is bi. Bradley mm-hmm. Cooper, oh, Channing Tatum. That's how I refer. He is. Yeah. Is he's... that why he divorced that girl person? I don't think he was married, but I am not that kind of oh, gay. I don't am I. know all the things. All right. Can I impart any more wisdom wisdoms to you? What? I think you've imparted enough. <laughs> do you have a final, I do. Wor- final words to leave us with? I do. Okay. So I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know how that turns out. Are you going to mm-hmm. get to the bottom of the debate? See which one comes first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get it. Um, Kyle, you're so, <laughs> you're so adorable. Thank you. Mikey, I love you, Mikey. I'm excited about our big birthday extravaganza. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm turning 40 next month, and we're doing a whole thing. It's going to be fun uh, and theme thing. nights and... Yeah. Oh, yes. I reenact the birth. It's all good. <laughs> I have no Actually, doubt that you will. 
Well, I went into shock and they gave me drugs, so you won't see me after a certain point in the night. So, <laughs> <laughs> you you bring the scotch, I'll bring the Demerol. You got the gold mine. No, wait. I got the gold mine. You got the shaft. Yeah, you got the well, shaft. That's how this uh, happened. <laughs> yes. Hey, Are you... I love you. I love you too. Thank you for joining us. Love you, mean it. <laughs> Call me anytime. All right, love you. Mom. Five four nine slot one thirty three at the KOA. All right, enjoy your fucktober. <laughs> oh baby. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. I understood like half of what happened. I then you're forty five percent up on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you usually have to translate for me. Well, yeah. It's true. Uh, just, just because I like know the words that she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got a few definitions yep. in there, but there are many more. So do you want to keep going through the list? Sure. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So the next one on my list, uh, so Otter, we did Otter. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the next one is Wolf. Okay. Which I had not heard of until this. Yeah. Me, me neither. Well, okay. So like uh, Derek, who was on our episode about Mormons. He his screen name is Wolf Strike for everything like Xbox or Twitter handle like all that kind of shit, and so I should ask him if that's because of the label for Wolf because it mm. kind of it kind of describes him. Mm. Uh, this is a a, a a lean muscular build, semi hairy, age doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. In the notes, sexually aggressive. And he's kind of slutty in, a, in the best in way possible. He's like way. the most sex positive person that I know. Yeah. Um, and also, also see silver or gray wolf for an older wolf. Oh, I bet you could add silver or gray in front of any of these. Like a silver bear? Silver bear? That's, um, I mean, I did hear polar bear. Is that like an older bear? Yeah, because oh. they're white. Oh. Their hair is white. All right. All of these, like, man, us gays, we got to work so hard at making everything sound so. We're going to find out more about the history which i'm excited about later but let's keep going what else is there mike uh next well next was bear oh which is a big build often with a belly lots and lots of hair mm -hmm. like a bear <laughs> <laughs> although so like it's hard to keep track of which ones because like all of these animals have hair mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pretty much exclusively covering their body so like which ones yeah yeah bears i feel like everyone's like intro point like people i think know what bears are if yeah. you know any of them yeah bears are they're their gateway drug to yes. these terms what else okay hold on the okay. example celebrity i told you the site that i got my list from anyway has yeah. example celebrities um but for bear they said john travolta i don't i get uh, I think you so. get it okay yeah all right I so i don't think bears have face work though like i don't think they <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I they mean, would never have hideously dyed eyebrows. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I think part of being a bear is just like owning it. But yeah, like I don't. Yeah, they're not going to change their. That, like that's a, a whole part of the thing is like being a bear and like fuck everyone else. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't think maybe John Travolta like right before he like went under for his face job. Yeah, bears are face like job. I, I don't lift. know. That's okay. Bro job. Bro job. Um, <laughs> I. I, I, I feel like bears are like the opposite of the insta gay movement. Like they're they're not mm. they're not super packaged. They're not like airbrushed and fake. Like they're yeah. just this very genuine. This is my body. Fucking deal with it. Remember, I think we were in a city. <laughs> I'm sure we were. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, and there was like some. It was when we were uh, driving around to see like all the seven capitals in oh, the northeast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we went into a bar where I think it was a bear night that we didn't know about, and they had pizza. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I love bear nights yeah. because I get to eat food. <laughs> I'm like, because I am not a gay that does not eat food because I fucking love food. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that was in Albany, New York. No. It was wherever I got super trashed and kept singing karaoke when no one else was doing oh, it. Oh, that was Portland, Oregon. Or no. Oregon, Portland, Maine. That was Portland, Maine. And uh, that's the night that I felt bad because uh, I, I was like, hey, Kyle, I need the room because I'm going to get banged. Oh. And so then you ate pizza and sang karaoke. And then I, I came back out and met with you after the deed was done. But <laughs> I, yeah. You... Please don't describe <laughs> it as the deed was done. I don't like that. <laughs> great okay <laughs> do you i'm i'm gonna let you keep going through your list and tell you if i have any that um oh, okay is not on you're your gonna list. check them off as i go and then you know what i will now okay great uh cub 
Check. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a bear, but younger. Yeah, uh, so Cub, uh, husky build, lots of hair like a bear. It's a younger bear. Young or younger looking, that is sort of implied. Yeah. Um, their example celebrity is Jack Black. Not young, but okay. Note, see also for subtypes of cubs, sugar cubs and muscle cubs. I don't know what a sugar cub is. Neither do I. Maybe it's someone that goes after like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. After okay. someone for their money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like... This will be a fun thing where we know most of what we're talking about, but then make guesses in the episode we're trying to educate people. I mean, I mean, to, to, to be clear, like neither of us are really part of the bear or cub community, so it's, it's a little harder to speak to it, but... Put a butt plug in that. Put a butt plug in that. Okay, okay. done. Next, Chubb. Build real big. That's what it says. <laughs> that's, Does it? That's I was what... like worried about like saying this in the right way that is not... Uh, yeah, larger... I mean, not large. Okay, okay. Larger, the larger, the better. I think. Yeah. In, like in yeah. the in the chub world, like yeah. people who are seeking chubs are known as chubby chasers. And chub chasers. That, ch that chub chasers. That yeah. I mean, that that also happens in the straight world, but in 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 the gay world, it, we're talking like the bigger, the better. Yeah. Um. Something that I was reading said that it was it's most akin to in the straight world, big black women. Is that what people like BBW? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if that's PC or not to say. I'm not. I'm not saying somebody let us know that <laughs> big black women <laughs> give us a holler yeah um is aretha franklin dead yes okay that's unrelated <laughs> okay um <laughs> but it was most akin to that in that you're seeking out a bigger dude yep that's right may or may not have hair that part doesn't matter can be any age their example celebrity was john goodman oh he got skinny though yeah and weird it's, looking. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like Maybe he, he lost all that weight. Roseanne. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that time he lost like 250 yeah, pounds overnight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's a good call for everyone. Great. Um, and they are distinct from bears. Apparently, like, don't confuse them. I don't necessarily know. I think that must be a self-categorization thing. Well, you wouldn't want to call a bear a chub because, like, I don't know that you're allowed to just be like... That's right. a word I would not assign to anyone unless they say it themselves. That's like pregnant. Do not say <laughs> yeah. or, anything until they let you know that yeah. that's what they are. Or Andrew Gerza, when we were allowed to, for a short period of time, say... Uh, cripple? Qu queer cr cripple. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Would never in a million years say that to anyone else. Uh, pup. Well, oh. 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 <laughs> that was my backup noise. Was that clear? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's also the noise I make when I'm a tongue in a ball. Okay. Uh, it's the sound I make when I'm underwater. Blub. <laughs> blub, blub. Um, okay, back in the chub arena, mm. there's also gainers. Oh, yeah. Um, and gainers are... And feeders. Go ahead. I th are those the same thing? Gainer is someone who wants someone else, gets sexually aroused by the idea of someone else getting bigger in weight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that the same thing as feeder? Yeah, I mean, a, 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 maybe not. I mean, I think a feeder, they often go together, but a feeder is just a person who's sexually gratified by someone eating. Oh, there was another word that was like, you can be a dom gainer, meaning like, you're like... Fucking eat. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That baloney's right there. <laughs> I shouldn't, I don't want to... This is the one... I feel the weirdest about the idea of making someone eat in order to become overweight. Yeah. That's a hard one for me to swallow, <laughs> which is weird. No, I just, what if we put some Nutella on it? And oh, you open real wide. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm there. Yeah. That's the one. Like, you know, usually I'm very down with all the things, but I want to on this podcast be open about the things that we don't totally get yeah um or the things we feel weird about because we are not the i think everyone assumes that all gay people are down with every single thing in the gay community and this one i i, I feel weird about this one yeah and body positivity has been a, a movement that's gotten i think a lot of traction lately especially when it comes to like the portrayal of women in yeah. media and, yeah, yeah. And, and that kind of thing i don't know how to maintain body positivity and still point out, there's a point at which you are unhealthy. Mm -hmm. 
right? Like this isn't, it's no longer just about accepting your body or thinking that you're beautiful. It's well, about your heart being able to pump yeah. blood through that much system. Well, see, I and, to divide those into like, there's something like you are not never going to be perfect. So there's a difference between like working to be healthier. Everyone should do that. But like feeling like you are okay or valid and I think that's true. Like everyone should feel like they are worthwhile as a person. They deserve happiness, love, regardless of their size. So I kind of think that of them as different things, you know, like yeah. you shouldn't feel like you're less valid because of your size. You or... shouldn't have to endure ridicule or shame. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, exactly. But that's expressing concern isn't ridicule or shame. Yeah. Uh, and also like a sexual desire for someone to be bigger. Yeah. That's like, that's at that point, it's not just accept yourself at the size you are. It's like, I would like you to become bigger. I, I don't know. I have a rough time with that. So I do have a little bit of history on that. Oh, the, uh, uh, the, the leader of the movement that started it all off was Sir mix <laughs> <laughs> It started, it was localized to the ass region. <laughs> it grew from there, it if just, you know what I mean. It just got bigger from there, <laughs> which uh, they were very turned on by. Okay. Uh, next was uh, a pup. Yeah. We've talked about pups a little bit. Yeah, which they're like a baby dog. <laughs> no. You um, said that so adorably. <laughs> a little baby dog. Uh, their build is slender, no hair, they're young. And in the notes, it says energetic, cute, and naive. Oh. And their example celebrity is Joe Jonas. Hmm. I don't think that, I don't think he's hairless, but I also do. Maybe that's just judging from his like. Yeah, you chest can't, hair. Yeah. <laughs> you can't judge a gay by the cover of his face. True words to live by. I don't. I didn't think pup had anything to do with how you looked. I thought it was more about the sexual like activity of like acting like a dog and being sexually into that. I mean, it's entirely possible that this site that I got this information from is bullshit. That's true. What was the site? No idea. I erased the link. Michael F. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's not. Um, you pound me <laughs> every time I give information. You didn't even write down the website. I didn't. and I'm not sorry you it's it is it too late now to be sorry yeah bieber is both twink and twonk depending on what album <laughs> yeah what age you're referring to okay what else uh, so I, I i do want to say i don't think that this is the same as pups and handlers which is what you're getting uh, oh. in, involved in right like there's 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 the, the the handler is like the owner of the dog the pup and and then the, the pup gets to sort of uh, I said gets to. That's really interesting. Uh, is is the just living in the moment sort of happy go lucky being a dog being a dog yeah character. Oh, that's this is different than that. I get like that the, impression. The pup body type. Yeah. Huh. All right. I don't know. Next is bull, <laughs> which we covered. Oh, with moving on. <laughs> okay. 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 Super built. Maybe hair. Maybe not. Any age. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah. Twink. Slender. Hairless, young Justin Bieber. <laughs> the notes say, "Oh, maybe we'll get some hate mail for this." Uh oh. The notes say, "Self-centered, usually between eighteen and the mid twenties." Oh, I mean, there all these I think come with their own stereotypes, which is also really interesting. And yeah, I think you're right. Like the idea of a twink is like at that point in life, you're like, "Oh, everyone wants me. I'm just out and fresh meat, and I'm the shit." So. Yeah. Well, and interesting you bring up stereotypes because a lot of people on our, especially in our Facebook group, I feel, want to know which one of these they are. Mm. Like, which one am I? I don't know. Maybe you're just you and beautiful. Oh, Christina it... Aguilera had a point. <laughs> no, put a butt plug in that. Oh, God, I have so many butt plugs. Okay, next, uh, Twonk, which we also covered. That's just uh, Bieber on steroids, uh, a more muscular twink. And then uh, Jim Bunny. Which? Which isn't just Bunny. It has to be Jim Bunny. Jim Bunny. And Jim Rat. Or Jim Rat. No. Uh, uh, there are two entries Two different on things. Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Jim Bunny, build is ripped, sculpted. Mm. Maybe hair, maybe not. Under 50 is what this says. Hmm. And this is in the notes that their fitness is associated with the gym, not with a sport. 
Mm. Well, I wrote down, which I think is a similar, it's just for physical reasons. They're not working out so that they can lift large objects and move them. Be a more efficient person. Right, right, right. They're, it's purely physical. Yeah. Uh, their example celebrity is Shamar Moore, who is hot. I don't know who that is. Fucking hot. You do know who it is. Oh, do I? You just can't picture this person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, as opposed to Jock. Jock is muscular and athletic. Maybe here, maybe not any age but their fitness is associated with a sport mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a soccer jock a football jock a rugby mm -hmm. jock whatever mm -hmm. uh their example celebrity is david beckham mm -hmm. and last on my list was jim rat very lean and very well built maybe here maybe not any age and notes addicted to working out like maybe doesn't have sex i don't know anyway <laughs> why wait did you just make that part up uh, yeah i made probably, that part up they probably have sex because they're so hot no, I think they're in the in the gym too much, oh, and they, they don't have... go to the bars because they can't even like breathe alcohol because it makes them fatter. <laughs> I think I think they might just have sex in the gym as <laughs> part of a workout. I think they just have sex with themselves <laughs> in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> posting selfies. Yeah, um, I have a few more. Yeah, you do. Um, well, one I don't know, if, uh, Daddy. Daddy. Um, that is I didn't write I've down. I've been told definition. it's a state of mind. Yeah, have you really? Yeah. So fucking Dan Garlington uh -huh. has a daddy who is like 15 years his junior. Huh. Yeah. You know, just breaking barriers, expanding the horizons of daddyhood. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about age. I mean, biologically, it is about age. You can't, you can't have kids before you're born, just so you know. <laughs> but in this context, in the gay world... Apparently, daddy is very much about attitude and presence and hmm. dynamic, power dynamic, as opposed to age. Hmm. I do think of, I think of daddies as being older, maybe having gray hair, um, being experienced. You're just describing me now. Thank you. <laughs> Usually they're attractive. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> that was the meanest thing I think I've said to you. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> And I think a lot of these you can add muscle in front of. So there's like muscle daddy, but I think you mentioned like muscle cub or muscle bear. Like a, a lot of yep. these you can put, just put the word muscle and you know what that means. Yeah. Like, Except see. for twink because that's a twonk. Yeah. 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 I'm going to oh, just so. Okay. Little side note. Side note. You have the most adorable. I just bought these little cute pr little. Pretty <laughs> mini, mini wines. Mini white wine bottle. There are all these new alternative packaging of wine. Most of. Most often, the alternative packaging I get is boxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, mm -hmm. I'm Kyle. <laughs> like, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But and they're like, <laughs> you know, these ones that are in cans now, which I've had, and ones in like juice box looking things. I've never seen these. These are little tiny. They look like the airplane size, like vodka things, but they're a little bit bigger, and it's white wine. And I had to buy it, and I it's a four pack of. <laughs> I'm interested to see. The next 10 seconds. How it tastes? You just opened it. You just cracked it open. Mm -hmm. Tasted it. Okay, great. How was that? What flavor is it? It's white. It's white. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm super interested in is whether it's going to be poured into a glass. Or you're just going to drink it out of that bottle. <laughs> I mean, it's in a handheld individual <laughs> serving size container right. i don't know why i would like you don't this is the calzone of wines it's already <laughs> in a self-serving <laughs> container why do, i don't need to put it in anything else i'm just gonna go for it <laughs> i would like to okay we put several butt plugs i know it's getting crammed in here it's <laughs> let's face it even one would be a stretch for you no, you're the one with the tiny butthole. Don't bring your tiny butthole issues into this. <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've once talked about my butthole on this <laughs> podcast, Mike. Let's not get gross. Well, not this episode. <laughs> okay, so two of them <laughs> that we put in, um, you said something along the lines of, like, we're not in any of these categories. Yeah. Well, I did a little bit of research. Oh, God. Okay. Are I'm going to diagnose me. <laughs> No, the internet will. Oh, God. If there's oh, God. one okay. thing the internet's good at, it's 
categorizing you <laughs> based on a quiz. <laughs> Great. So there's a thing. Well, before we do this, there's there's a thing online that is referenced in like studies. So I, I have some data, but I found this through a research paper. Okay. That talked about there's because there are research papers about the sub communities within the gay worlds. Yeah. Bears are studied by both by Jane Goodall and this guy. <laughs> Sounds like a gender, women, and sexuality studies yeah. kind of paper. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, before we do that, what do you think? Do you think you fit into any of the categories? No. No. Well, maybe. If you were, I guess, what's the closest one for you? Daddy. You at first said no. What's your resistance to just like... I'm um, I'm daddy hear me roar. Most of these are about bodies and I hate mine so I don't oh. want to think about it. I didn't realize that. I I'm the same way like I took well even before this people have called me like bear uh, mostly cuz I'm like pretty hairy and I hate that and I think it's about the body that it's both about my assumptions about what being a bear means and also the fact that I don't like my body. Well and your your weight notwithstanding you're a big dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like, when I sit down in airplane seats, I don't fit. So, like, <laughs> I'm objectively large in yeah. that way. I have broad shoulders and tall and that stuff. So, um, I, it's weird. Yeah, I'm the same way about, like, I don't like categorizing my body as that. Mm -hmm. And I also don't like my body. So, me, yeah. Um, so, there's this quiz at the very easy to get to site, which you're going to go to. Because okay. um, uh, studio moh dot com slash studio mo studio mo um, dot com slash fun slash census slash results dot php. Okay, great. Yeah, here we go. So this is a apparently. <laughs> scientific community confirmed <laughs> site where you can plug in things like your age and weight and it will tell you where you fit into all these different subcategories so okay. i did this and it was like bear it was like that's where you fit it categorized me there and not my favorite but so i'm like I don't i'm not i'm not sure whether to say less hairy or average on mm. the body here i'm gonna say less, less hairy. hairy define me <laughs> You are a gym rat. The next closest match was Daddy. Uh, you are right. least like a twink. <laughs> <laughs> I was least like a twink too. Great. G I don't Mike, mm. you're great. I you're not a gym rat. No, and my I think I mean to me this just proves that I don't really fit cleanly into any of them like if they're if their best guess is clearly wrong <laughs> then... well it, yeah daddy and jim rat are very different yeah so what do you want to tell me uh what do i nothing <laughs> best episode ever yeah. um okay so believe it or not there is a controversy ish i mean there's a right answer but people they dig in to mm -hmm. their Whatever their answer is, mm -hmm. tastes great, less filling, red or blue, <laughs> Democrat, Republican. Like, they have strong feelings, and then they just refuse to look at them. Yeah. Anyway, where did the term bear come from? Okay. There seems to be some discussion about who actually coined the term bear. Some claim it was Richard Bulger, who... <laughs> oh, Bulge. <laughs> okay, Richard. His name is Dick Bulger. <laughs> He's a porn star. <laughs> Who, along with his then partner, Chris Nelson, founded Bear Magazine in 1987. Wow. The year after I was born. Yep. But people who believe that are wrong. <laughs> it was the advocate. So Dick Bulge didn't create that. Dick Bulger did not create the, oh, man. the, the bear. Okay. So uh, the first usage of the word bear to describe gay people appeared in an article. We know who did it. It was George Mazze. In his article, Who's Who at the Zoo, <laughs> in the July 26th, 1979 issue of The Advocate. That's which... before, to be fair, that's before 1987. Yes. Just based on... Dates. I was still alive. Oh, good for and, you. And, 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 but you were not. I was not. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
But then again, his name is way less fun. So <laughs> that's I can true. see how we were like, eh. I mean, unless that's Italian for dildo. Then <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Mazzei. 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 M-A-Z-Z-E-I. Yeah, it has to be Italian for something. Yeah. Probably dildo. <laughs> yep. Yep. Please tell me. Somebody somebody Italian, tell me. The, someone Italian, lie to me. <laughs> Just say that's true. It'll be so fun. Um, but in that article in 1979, they said they defined seven different animals that Ooh. represented the gay communities. And it looks like the only one that stuck is bear. <gasps> what are the other ones? So let's talk about it all. So they said bears. Let's start with bears. Bears are usually hunky, chunky types, reminiscent. <laughs> hunky of... and chunky. I love that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> reminiscent I... of railroad engineers and former football greats. They have larger chests and bellies than average and notably muscular legs. Some Italian-American bears, however, are leaner and smaller. It's attitude that makes a bear. For each of them, they go through like a little intro. They do general characteristics. The only general characteristic for the, for this one is hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's what they eat, which this, this is beer is their favorite food. <laughs> um, mating peculiarities, natural habitat, and domestic rating. Anyway, the advocates started it hmm. using animal names to label gay people. So, also in that same article, owls. Okay, I yeah. Never heard any. What, what would you? What would you guess, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Am I pretending to be your mom no, right now? <laughs> please don't or do. I don't care. You haven't asked about my vagina yet. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this other thing that's not related. <laughs> oh my god! Did you see something? Something squirrel? <laughs> um, was that a good impression? Great. Good okay. job. No, I would think owl wiser, wise, uh, large eyes. Um, Good at good good at uh, three ways because they can turn their head all the way around. <laughs> three sixty heads. Yep. <laughs> um, owls are older. Okay. Sarcastic at times, but love everyone, and everyone loves them. I'm an owl in progress. General characteristics: they are usually, shall we say, round in shape. <laughs> oh, I'm getting there. They wear outlandish clothes and jewelry. Oh. Their pants are too tight. Their bikinis microscopic. Uh, male owls have their shirts open to the navel and fill the exposed area with much tangled gold chain. You have to remember, <laughs> I mean, it's the nineteen, it's the 19, late nineteen seventies, so they're basically describing an aging BG. What they eat usually something that's been ruined because everyone got so drunk they forgot to watch dinner. <laughs> they also eat diet pills. Um, let's see. You can't go through this information for all of it. I won't. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, swans. Oh, they're beautiful. They're graceful. Elegant, beautiful, devote their lives to cultivating perfect bodies and cheap swank. Cheap swank? They're snobs about everything. Mm. Uh, don't they fall in love? Oh, I don't know. Like a swan t uh, swan tunnel? Swan lake? I don't know. Black swan? I don't know. I'm just throwing out things that have the word swan in them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Great. It's all of them. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman is definitely a gay swan. Is a gay swan. <laughs> Uh, uh, gazelles. Oh, fast sprinters? I don't know. Warm, heart of gold types who temper their personalities with a business-like approach to love, life, and the pursuit of happiness. Probably the best adjusted of the gay animals. Second to last, pussycats. Lesbians. Yeah. But they, they look like bears, but where bears are kind of shy, pussycats have a dry wit. Oh, wait. This is not lesbians? No. Oh, okay. Bears are naturally rumpled, while pussycats keep their freshly pressed chambray work shirts neatly, neatly tucked, and their t-shirts are always snowy white. Pussycats will drink beer, but are careful not to let the can leave wet rings on their Levi's. And then last is marmosets. I don't even know what that is as an animal. It's a, like a monkey. Okay, okay. Marmosets look like small manicured bears, but unfortunately incorporate many of the nastier aspects of pussycats into their personalities. They're wonderful to look at, being among the hottest of the gay males, or gay animals, male or female. They will on occasion go to bed with someone. Marmosets do best when photographed at their work for the slick pages of in magazines. In real life, they have no real life. <gasps> anyway. Burn? Yeah. <laughs> That was a solid burn. It, but, but the only one that survived that whole thing was, was bear. bear. But that turned into the phenomenon that we know today. Okay. I read a thing about the background of bears. Okay. The B of B. And it was uh, talking about how bears 
came as a kind of revolt against the femme body conscious uh, culture of gay men. They were like, fuck that. We can still be mask. We can be big. We can be hairy. And that's okay. So that that was what I read about, like the bear culture. It almost started, I think, because of some of the stereotypes that we have around gay men. And the point was to show that gay men don't have to be one thing. So yeah. I think there are yeah. like good and bad things about categorizing subcultures like this. Because I think the good side is that it's really affirming to find a category that you had no idea existed before, but really fits your description. And this is not gay, but when I heard the word agnostic at mm. first, mm -hmm. I had no mm -hmm. idea that was a thing, but I was like, oh my God, that's me. And I like, it was just so reassuring and really cool that that was out there and I had no idea it was. Yeah. But of course the downside people say it's a limited view. It's, it's. It's a sign. It is this the signing of stereotypes to a group of people where not you're not recognizing the full diversity within these categories. You start to think of them as just one thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but they're also sort of a self fulfilling prophecy, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I remember back when I was jacked, and uh, when I first started down that path, I had just come out, and when I got some attention for my body then mm -hmm. that had a feedback loop on itself mm. of like oh fuck like this is what gives me value this is what i have to do mm. w worked on it harder that it, it i i i think once you have a community and once you are identified as a member of that community you're then very strongly influenced or or um pressured into conforming to whatever the norms of that community are yeah. and so I, I i wonder if i wonder if these are actually doing us a disservice in a way yeah and that's actually what in the last episode about la gays just michael williams um he talked about like when you're gay fucking a woman is just off limits like yeah. and when you do it's just you know no one accepts it everyone thinks it's crazy so i think you know, I think it's both. It's, you know, it's great at first to be able to categorize yourself and find a community and get support and feel like you're not alone, but then you get really pigeonholed into what that means. Yep. So I actually found, I don't know why I had a butt plug in this, but I had a butt plug in my topic that I'm about to talk No, you about. keep putting them in me. Yeah. So you'll, Take you have to back. remember. <laughs> <Will you? laughs> Other countries. That was one of them. Oh, Australia. Yeah. Okay, so I... Somebody just said recently we haven't hated on Australia in a while, so is that what's coming? No, we're, we like them. Great. I mean, I like them down under. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Fosters. American for trying to be Australian for beer. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what I wrote down for the title of the section is Stereotypes versus Reality. Because there are stere... Mm -hmm. You're bridging the gap between sexuality and actuality. Holy fucking shit balls, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and non-binary people. <laughs> we're doing the thing we said we do at the beginning. Podcast over. <laughs> no, I haven't done oh, it yet. Okay, go, go, go. After this. Do it and then we're done. Over in seven minutes. <laughs> Let's be honest. Twelve minutes. Okay. Um, so there is research into the different types of... Uh, just a few of the different types of subcultures. Sure. And there's some truth to what people think about them and some not so truths. So I'll tell you about uh, a study that was done of Australia gays. So the first one, there were only two groups that stood out as big enough to um, for the study to like categorize. How many inches? <laughs> Well, twinks, 20%, <laughs> 20 inches. Wow. 20 inches. Centimeters. Okay. Oh, <laughs> do they do centimeters in Australia? <laughs> that's, Fuck. That's a big dick, though. I don't know how that 20 converts centimeters? to inches. I don't either. Let's find out. Do we have to find that out? No. Uh, <laughs> but I like annoying you at least twice oh an episode. God. Here we go. I'm going to take this time to drink. Uh, that is 7.87 .87 inches, so almost 8 inches. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a little bit smaller than me. Great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so 20% of the respondents were twinks, 9%, uh, so this is self-identified, as cubs. Um, so those are the groups I'm going to tell you a little bit about. Okay. Um, 
these are Australian twinks. I don't know how those different from American twinks or cubs. And I'm surprised not bears. Uh, no, just twinks and cubs. Yeah, maybe okay. they don't have bears there. I don't know how it works. I'm surprised they're not called koalas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're just really cute, but like secretly vicious. Yeah, big fuzzy ears. Yeah, like once you, <laughs> for some reason, they've got a lot of ear hair. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay, so the twinks are at high risk of some health issues. Uh, they're more likely to smoke. They're more uh, tobacco. Yeah. Is weed legal in Australia? No. Oh, okay. No, I don't I, think so. I don't want to move there then. Um, <laughs> I would be based on like accents hotness i think accents is all this on my list I mean, they, they play a lot of rugby mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay so Ooh. smoking i mean oh what I, I i feel like gay people smoke a lot more than straight people do in i general. feel like that too and i like i keep joking to myself like oh it's an oral fixation oh like, 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 that's funny <laughs> that's, that, that cigarette's a big old dick yeah, well, maybe twink because smoking helps stops hunger. Oh, yeah, no, that's true. That's I wonder true. if that's connected. So to does like heroin. Skin or... Great twinks. Here's a thing: <laughs> do heroin <laughs> early to get your body to stay that way. Yeah, as long as you don't mind having lots of like face scabs. <laughs> okay, no, don't do heroin. Hashtag and don't smoke reason. cigarettes. Oh, right, right, right. Don't smoke cigarettes. Um, and they're more likely to drink more alcohol. Um, they are more likely to. This, yeah, this is this is funny. They're more likely to engage in receptive anal sex. No, <laughs> I know that's okay. So that stereotype we can confirm. Although, okay, somebody was telling me recently that like all of these really femmy twinky kids running around the gayberhood here in Seattle are actually tops. I love a good, like, you look like you were going to, you can cough. If you I, need to. No, I was yawning and burping at the same time. Was I boring <laughs> you and giving you gas? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Weird. Um, I think it's super hot to have like a twink fuck like a uh, jock or have a uh. short guy fuck a tall guy or like a young guy fuck an old guy. I think those kind of like discrepancies are kind of hot. Yeah, so. I do too. Um, okay, so Cub, what are you doing now? Yawning, burping, <laughs> yelling. No, I was trying to fist my face. Fisting your face, great. <laughs> you were very polite about it. Yep. It was very subtle. Okay, Cubs represent 9% of the respondents that self-identified to that. Um, an important thing about them, uh, the Cubs won their first gay championship recently. <laughs> <laughs> only After sports. 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> only sports joke. Call make. <laughs> La, da, 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 da. Enjoy this moment. Okay, no. Uh, For they, Australian listeners, oh, that's sorry. an American football American, joke. No, baseball. <laughs> that's baseball, Mike. <laughs> Great. It's American baseball. Nobody which cares. Is just baseball. <laughs> no one that's listening to this cares about baseball. Um, they, they won the World Series and took the Stanley Cup home. It was <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> okay. It only the world championship only happens every four years in baseball. So yep. <laughs> Okay. They are uh Cubs are more likely to report being in an ongoing relationship. Yeah, okay. That uh, I had no preconceived notions about their relationship status, but that's cool. Well, okay, so I don't know what it says, but when I think about like Two dudes madly in love with each other, never going to break up. They like l are the best couple ever. Mm -hmm. They're bears. Hmm. So cubs, like that's not that far of a stretch. Makes oh. it makes sense to me. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. No, that no, I don't. Great. Good. Okay. Good so <laughs> the next highest one was uh, chubs at four percent. Okay. Of respondents identified as that. I don't have stereotypes about them. That um. But we only have chubs in the U.S. Come on now. Four percent for Australia for U.S. What? Hundred <laughs> percent. We're all fatter. Um, there were other groups that people identified themselves as. For example, fem, mm -hmm. gamer, G A Y, gamer, yeah. boy, B O I, B -O -I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which it's hard for me not to imagine Flava Flav <laughs> when I say boy. Like I can't. I don't know what a boy is, but it's. Something about a clock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
You don't have enough do teeth the... to pull that joke off. <laughs> do you uh, remember the flavor of love? Oh, yeah. And then I Love New York? So great. Oh, my God. Such good television. Uh, so my therapist, actually, I was telling stories about like my dating life and, and this and that and this and the other. And, and one, one time she goes, are you saying the word boy to mean any age? <laughs> because <laughs> i was like did your therapist home... suddenly become concerned yeah, like i went home with this boy and then, then I, when you like, say boy i think that boy is hot and <laughs> <laughs> give me an age of that boy <laughs> yeah. that it's okay i read something that i wasn't going to talk about but i when i was reading these different studies yeah one of them was like advice to mental health professionals where uh-huh. it was like you need to understand all these different categories yeah so that you can have an like so that your gay clients don't have to explain them to you and you have a knowledge going into them about what they're talking about and you know the idea for example like if someone they talked about bears and all that stuff but they also mentioned like if they mentioned straight acting is that because they are rejecting the gay part and are not comfortable with it or this like it it talked about all the different like different things to look for and I don't imagine any therapist knowing what a bear or a twink or a twunk or a twank or a wank or a wunk. Like, I don't. Yeah. I can't imagine yeah, them yeah, knowing yeah. all this information. That's a lot of pressure. If they <laughs> did, I'd like, I, I, for some reason, if they knew what this was, I would be like, I think you're like, I would now imagine like more sexual side of you that you know that <laughs> that i feel uncomfortable with so like i don't want them to know that. i want my therapist to be a librarian that i need to explain what genitals are <laughs> <laughs> a sexless well-read librarian yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> wouldn't it be so weird if they knew what a bear was yeah i don't know so my mom posted this in our facebook group so i'm not like speaking out of turn it's mm-hmm. public enough her therapist listens to us. That's so weird. But one of the things that her therapist said was, we help her treat gay people. Which, I'm, I'm so sorry, sorry, gay people. <laughs> I was just thinking, just, I'm sorry, I apologize to the therapist that thinks we provide information. I'm sorry to the people that she is now therapizing based on our information. And I'm just sorry <laughs> to everyone. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Oh, let me keep chugging through this, yep. which is what I say to ugly people's dicks. Um, <laughs> there, the percentage of people that put themselves as non non identified. Okay. Oh, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Kyle. I got drunk too. Yeah. Oh, sh- 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 don't tell anyone. Okay, they can't hear us. When we whisper soft enough, they can't hear us. There's like eight people in mom's therapist <laughs> that listen, so don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> okay. Uh. Fifty-six percent of people didn't uh, identify themselves as any of these. Yeah, which I think it's that's really like that is the big thing that I learned in researching this. That the assumption is, oh, everyone else has categorized themselves, and I am the one that. Oh, I don't like the bears thing, but I don't really fit. Feel like I fit any of the categories, or I don't want to, or I don't like it, or whatever the reason. Yeah, but that's actually common. That. People yeah, yeah. don't categorize themselves or don't want to. So don't, I, that's, that's the thing that defies the stereotype of don't feel like you have to fit into one of these or that you're the only one that doesn't place yourself in one of these categories. By if not you, having a label, you're the only one that really fits in. Oh, snap. <laughs> Take that, people Tweaks. who shop at Polo. <laughs> Wait, is Polo a brand? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm not that kind of gay either. Okay. Um, and, uh, people that do the, this group of people that do not identify themselves in any of these groups, yeah. uh, were less likely to report discrimination. Oh, okay. Which I, I could see like when you, my fear is that that's because they pass. Yes. Same right. here. Like when you embrace a group, then your part of you is just like, okay, great. I'm this and I'm embracing that. And maybe more public about it. Yeah. So that then more people can see and know who you are and might discriminate. Yeah. 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 Which, yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it helps people gain confidence in themselves so sure. that they have a 
like a foundation from which to jump into yeah. their real identity or their their true feelings about who they are if if it's helpful in in a self-esteem kind of way that's great yeah and if someone is similarly holding themselves back from categorizing them because they they don't want to be known as what they really are yeah you know maybe it, you need to take that step and embrace what you are and make it public and fuck the haters yeah and, yeah yeah should we take a break let's take a break let's take a break wine break twink break bear break <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where mike and kyle take a break hello everyone my name is noah and i'm the host of the podcast faux fright faux fright aims to examine the paranormal going on around us each day within the context of real life history I do my best to break stories down and learn as much as I can about the reality and the lore. There are shadows around us every day, stories just waiting to be told, and dark corners waiting to be explored. You can listen to Faux Fright on most major podcast apps, and follow us on Twitter at Faux Fright. I'm always looking for people to join the adventure, so keep a tight grip on your flashlight, check over both your shoulders, and follow me. Are we back? We're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, we're going to do our gayest and straightest. We're going to do our gayest and straightest, but first. But first. Our website is gayest. Wait. Pod- oh. We have some things to tell you about oh, yeah. before that. First of all, we are doing a contest for a $100 prize for the best design for your bullshit is bullshit t-shirts. Yes. Please send your designs to gayishpodcast at gmail.com. Yeah. So make a shirt that says your bullshit is bullshit and whatever else you want and send it to us. We're going to pick the best one and sell, sell them to you. Yep. Uh, and the competition ends. I set a date. It was on our Facebook group. If you were in our Facebook group, you would know. <laughs> Facebook.com slash group slash gay podcast. That's right. The deadline is October 27th. So <laughs> that's yeah. Saturday. This Saturday. You've got two days. So hurry. So hurry. And uh, we are going to be in Portland for the Portland Podcast Festival. We now have our time. It's going to be Saturday something a something we're going to be appearing on the hawthorne lounge stage at the hawthorne theater and lounge in portland oregon on november the 10th at 7 10 p.m you can get tickets at pdxpodfestival.com slash tickets i like that we're in the lounge because that, that gives me casual like ideas of a casual vibe yeah like everyone's just be chilling yeah lounging yeah relaxing yeah wear your pjs kids bring your bunny slippers and your hair that it looks like right now not based on anything you do our website <laughs> our website is gayishpodcast.com our social media is gayish podcast so find us on twitter insta instagram youtube facebook groups. facebook uh at gayish podcast our hotline, you can send us text messages or leave us voicemails. It's 5855-GAYISH. That's 585-542-9474. Standard rate supply. And either send us your designs or just a hey, sup, at... Or your dick pics. I want more dick pics. You've gotten some. Some, yeah. Uh, gayish podcast at gmail.com. Great. Gayest and straightest. Let's do our gayest and straightest. I'm going to go first. I don't feel like I've done that a little bit. Yeah, um, do it. So the gayest thing is that I, at work, now have as an account the company that my boyfriend works at, which is very... Yeah, so I don't go out of my way to say my boyfriend. Your boyfriend, Jack, who is your boyfriend? Only on the podcast that (laughs) I am like, no, I have a boyfriend and he's real and I'm excited about it. At work, I I think I am a little bit too self-conscious about it and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. think about it and withhold more than I should. But at this point it's like, I'll be in conversations. that will be like, it doesn't make sense for me not to bring up that I'm dating someone that you know at your company. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've said that to my boss and to the, my new client and I'm like, Oh, actually my boyfriend works there and yeah. here's his name and you know him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and that feels very gay to just to be that out about it. I think it feels gay for me Yeah, because I don't do that so much. Yeah. I mean, saying to a client, 
oh, my, my boyfriend, boyfriend works, works there. there. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Um, the straightest thing about me is earlier I tried to do the, you know, like the snap, snap, snap in a, like a Z like pattern. Z that, formation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All my ladies, let's get in Z formation. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't, it's just not one of the gay things that I can do. It's oh, like see. Yas Queen. Yeah. See, like coming out of my mouth, the snaps, like it, like those don't, I can't do them. They feel very straight to me because it doesn't feel normal or natural. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think it's my confidence or how, it's just not for me. Yeah. And so it feels very straight actually to try to do the gay things that everyone else does. Yeah. 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 I'd pay money to see you try to do that like nonchalantly and, and see like girl i will never no, no, do you know, that you, you, you okay wow no you nope. just that no i can't that's the best i can do oh it was good was it i just i want to i want to see you like not take a run at it like i want mm. you i want to see you working with no net like raw yeah um raw dog that z <laughs> that's the thing like i would never just do that normally so like that's not gonna happen i have to like intentionally be like oh this will be funny that's the only way i'll do it in real life um, okay, the straightest thing about me this week, bear with me. Bear. I've been watching... Otter with me. <laughs> Chub with me. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been watching the Alec Baldwin show. Oh, I just saw that on Hulu. Yeah, yeah. And uh, He had Robert De Niro on, and they were talking, and they totally had this moment where uh, they were like giving each other compliments on their contributions and the work that they have done. Hmm. And then they started, they, each of them was crying about what the other had said. And then I started crying too. And then I was like, Oh my God, I'm so straight. They're straight and we're crying. (laughs) (laughs) You felt like a part of their broman. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do we have to start doing the like official thing that people do? Academy award nominee, Alec Baldwin with Uh Academy award win. Yes. yes. Yeah. And Academy Award watcher Mike Johnson. Yeah, I think that's right. a 30 Rock joke. Or Academy something. Award watcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely <laughs> didn't make that up. Anyway. Anyway, you should see the Alec Baldwin show, I okay. think. Do you, uh, is it good? I like it. Okay. Um, I like Alec Baldwin. He's so talented. And he's delightfully awkward. <laughs> oh, in, like in a good way that we are? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I want to marry him. Okay. The gayest thing about <laughs> me this week... Um, I I just I don't remember how I discovered it, but there's this British show, Naked Attraction, and it's <laughs> basically a game show where <laughs> the the a, a person it's a dating show. A person shows up, uh, and then there are six or seven people, uh, six people, each of whom has a physical characteristic that the contestant has said that they find physically attractive, and then. The boxes slowly go up. They're fucking naked. They are naked ass naked. Oh, so they'd be like, I love butts. And then you see all their butts? Yes. Yeah. I mean, not exactly like that. Like, you don't know what it is that they have said before the show they found attractive. But they, like, the first round, they raise the boxes to their waist. Oh. So you can see their dicks and pussies. And, <laughs> and then they turn around and show you their butts. The and, old D's and P's yeah. and B's. <laughs> and, then, and then the next... Re- so then they have to eliminate somebody based only on their dick the or lower vagina. Half- yeah. oh. and, and so they whittle it down, right? So then they show... Uh, they, the box goes up to their neck. So then they get to see their, their chesticles. And mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, they have to eliminate somebody. And then they get to see their face and they have to eliminate somebody. And then they get to hear them talk and they have to eliminate somebody. Oh, shit. But they're fucking buck ass naked. Like you can just have dicks on British TV, apparently. And so the gayest thing about me is that, of <laughs> course, I just I I went through like every episode of that show just looking at the dicks. <laughs> <laughs> like once the box got <laughs> past the dick, you were like, yeah, don't Next care. Show. Next. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great for me because I'm like less. I care less about faces and more about bodies. So, oh, yeah. but I feel like that'd be difficult for someone like you. Yeah, I really I'm into faces. I really am. Yeah. Um, but it gives me so much anxiety because the people in the box can hear them oh, talk God. with the host about what they're seeing and no. what they like and don't like. And the host is like, what do you think about their penis? Oh, and no. I, and then they answer. And I, it's very uncomfortable. No, I, I don't know that I could watch all of that. You would love it. I would hate it. So, so that's it. That's it. This has been Gayish. A special thank you, as always, to Charlie Finn for the use of our theme music. And thank you to... 
gays of all categories, including non-categories, because whatever you categorize yourself as, you're A-OK. Uh, thank you to Chris Pine for his dong. <laughs> <laughs> In equal importance. <laughs> thank you to Chris Dick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and thanks to mom. Thanks, thanks yes. to my mom for being on the show again. Yeah. As always. As always. We love her. She's the, the listeners best. love her. So why, why do we even talk? I don't know. Her own show, Someday Maybe. Yep. Mom Splaining with Ma Johnson. <laughs> Just independent, split off. I do. All right. This I has want. been Gayish. I'm Mike Johnson. I'm, I'm Kyle Getz. Until next week, be butch, be fabulous, be you. Improvise, See you next week. See you next time. I Bye. Bye. Bear fart. <laughs> and hear me as I will sing. Hey, and by the way, do you hear what your words bring? Oh, P.S. I'm gay. Why isn't horse a gay animal? What would that be? Just a big old dick. <laughs> <laughs> and long flowing hair. <laughs>